Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Now, if you're in the market to buy a home, you probably want to know what your score should be. And you're probably wondering how credit impacts me getting approved for a mortgage loan. Well, your scores can make or break you when it comes down to securing a mortgage loan. So that's something that is on the mind of a lot of first time home buyers. Today, we're here to help you. I'm here to provide the information you need on how to navigate the world of credit. We deal with buyers all over. When it comes down to credit, we have a credit repair program, but I'm also a real estate pro broker that helps people with home ownership. So our goal is to help you make sure that you will have the best scores that's needed to qualify for the mortgages with today's rate. Now, with this video on how to improve your credit score for home ownership, I want to dive into a few things so that you can understand things much clearer and better. Because with today's market, we have to think about what's going to get us the best rates. Well, we know the rates are not low, but understand, understanding how the scores are going to be impacted or how it works is going to help you to make a best decision when the time comes to be getting approved. Because oftentimes people try to get approved and they're not yet ready. That's what my goal is to help you to ensure that when you do decide to take that leap to get approved, you make the wise choices. And there's steps you need to take before getting approved. You want to make sure your scores are there. And let's begin with a few important facts. Now, many times people don't understand how credit works. In order for you to get approved for a mortgage loan, you have to have scores that qualify. Most banks will approve you with a 620 and above. Now, if you want my opinion, you want your scores to be better than the 620 and above because you have to think about the fact that if you're right at the 620, if anything hits your credit report or if you pull your credit, your score can drop and below that. So I always try to get people to understand to get their scores up. And that's going to have a huge impact on what programs you qualify for, especially if you're looking to get down payment assistance. It's very important to understand how to read your credit reports. Oftentimes I talk to buyers um, and people who are interested in homeownership, they don't know how to read the credit report, which in turn impacts them. Because if you pay someone for credit repair and you don't know what they're working on, you don't know how to get the results that's needed to reach that next step of homeownership. One thing's for sure, you need to know how to read your credit report, not just your scores. By looking at your credit report, all three credit bureaus, you're able to see what's being reported to help you to determine what the next step is needed to get it cleaned up, to pay some things off, so that you can go on to that next point. Now, your credit score is a three-digit number that the lenders use um, to determine your credit worthiness. Now, keep in mind, there's about 30 different systems that's reporting your data. So it's not a one-size-fits-all. There's no way that you will be able to basically um, know exactly what the lenders are going to say when they pull your reports, but you can get an average estimate because there's different FICO scores. The mortgage FICO score is also weighed differently by different lenders and different things based on income, um, location, your addresses. There's so many different things that they go by. The lenders will predict whether or not your credit worthiness and your chance of being approved. So having this knowledge will save you a headache by doing your research in advance to secure a home loan. So my advice is, you know, if you are trying to get your credit together, you need to understand how it is going to impact you and what exactly you need to be working on. By doing that, you will have a greater chance of getting approved. Like I said, the scores determine everything, but your income will determine what you qualify for. So the most important thing is understanding how to check your reports, all three credit bureaus, look it on there for derogatory things, collection accounts, charge offs, um, late payments, and all those things will impact your scores. It doesn't mean you can't qualify for a mortgage loan, but keep in mind, you want to have a clean report. You want to make sure everything that was reported negatively is clean. Now, if you have a late, you may not get that late removed. You have to allow time to pass because oftentimes in order to get the late removed, you have to pretty much remove the whole entire account, which may not be the best thing for you. So my advice would be instead of worrying about getting the whole account removed because you do have maybe some other good history is to make sure you get the other derogatory things off your report, such as collections accounts any medical bills, charge off credit cards, um, personal loans that you didn't pay back. Those things are hurting your credit report. So getting those off will help you a tremendous amount 
of increase of your scores, but also keeping your credit card balance is low. If you have credit cards that you've been paying on, you want to keep them low as possible because you know what? Having uh, large balances will um, impact your score and then in turn impact your approval amount. So because of your debt to income ratio, you're impacted by your scores. So this is the reason why it's important to ensure that you pay down your credit cards, keep them at a low balance, and you don't have to even use the credit cards unless you have to, meaning that most people think that you got to use credit cards on a regular basis to keep your scores going. You do not have to keep a balance on your credit cards to keep your scores moving. It's the history that matters, the positive reporting history. Keep in mind, the more you keep on your credit cards, it impacts your debt to income ratio. And also, it shows creditors how you pay your bills. You can use the credit cards, but understanding how it's going to impact you is very important. Not everyone has the same amount of available line of credit. So therefore, it's impacted by the available line of credit, your credit limit. All those things can impact you, which includes the accounts that you're paying on, your payment history, any negative remarks, late payments or collections. As mentioned, these things are not going to impact your score. So this is the reason why we tell all of our customers to ensure that they understand how these errors on your report are going to impact you and drag your score to a lower standard. Now, keep in mind, if you had some negatives to hit your report, it doesn't mean that's the end of the world. Things can get fixed, but I will tell you, not everything can get removed from your credit report. Keep in mind, there's certain things that you might have to do a settlement on. Before even having a lender pull your credit report, we would usually do a free credit review and analysis to guide you and direct you in the right step to ensure that you are not getting approved for a loan, knowing that your scores are very low and that you have these negative inaccuracies on your report. We can help you dispute them. We can give you some advice on things you need to do on your own. And there's things that we also can do because as a credit company, we have a program to help you. But at the same time, it's not just a one size fits, fits all. That's the reason why you get a free credit review. And we will in turn also have to ask you some fact finding questions about your income. Now, if you need credit repair, we'll give you a free quote and tell you exactly what's needs to be done. But we also give advice on credit building and things that are going to be needed to help you reach your goal of better credit scores. So this is the reason why we encourage you to understand how to read your reports before working with anyone, because you'll know what they're working on. And some things you might be able to handle on your own and save some money. You can get your free annual credit report. However, there's also ways to get it online much faster and you may be able to get a free trial. There's various sites. We typically use Experian.com because they offer a free trial for seven days and those reports remain on your profile. But we will be able to help you take advantage of that and discuss things and how things can help you with your credit report. Now, the most important thing is understanding how these things impact you. Paying things on time, making sure that you build your scores as well because we often feel that a lot of people may not have enough credit they may not have enough things on their credit to help build a better score. So this is the one reason also that you need to make sure that you are doing things to build your credit scores. You know, um, if you don't have enough credit, there's some suggestions of things you can build your credit score with. You might have to start with a self-lending account or prepaid credit card if you, in fact, you do not have anything in your name. There's also ways to get things like authorized user accounts, trade lines. Those things can also build your scores. It's various ways to build credit, but it's all determined based on what you already have on your credit report. Not everybody needs to have those things added. If you already have large lines of credit and other credit card debt, you don't need to start necessarily adding credit. You may need to pay some things down. We'll be able to go over that with you and help you succeed. I hope this video is um, informative and it helps you get what you need. We would like for you to give a comment. Um, if you have any questions in the comment session, we like you to share it. We like for you to engage and let me know what you're thinking. Subscribe to my channel. I'll be happy to help you with more knowledge and credit tips regarding home ownership. And I serve multiple states. We currently are licensed in Georgia and Alabama, but I also service other states nationwide. We do referrals so I can help you succeed and reach your goal. Just follow up. Like I said, provide a comment. Let me know your thoughts, other questions or other videos you'd like me to make and create for you. And I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you and you have a great day. Bye-bye.